Looking good. Now all we need to do is add some voiceover and music. Let's dial back up to the top. Click on this. Now what you need to know is that if you are in some other tab, you need to go to Slideshow and Record Slideshow. Now you can actually add audio in a couple of ways. One, you can add audio and a voiceover by recording in another program, let's say Audacity, and then bringing that in as a single item and then having it play across the entire slideshow. This actually I do not recommend because it would just take a lot of time to kind of pair everything. And the nice thing is in record slideshow, as you will see, I can re-record a single slide if I make an error. There's a couple of things that you need to be attentive to. Now, in terms of importing audio across the entire slide, that'll be the same thing that you would do for music. So I will show you how to do that. But let's go ahead and look at how to add a recorded audio for each slide using Record Slideshow. So when I click on this, a couple of things to keep in mind. If I have a slide with audio already on it, I'm not going to want to record over that for sure. The second thing is, once I click record, if I already have sound, it's going to delete that sound and replace it. So you never want to record over a slide that has audio already, unless you intend to get rid of that sound. So another thing that I want to do is, let's say that this is open, it might be the default. I want to close that and make sure that it's not visible, okay? Now, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and create a new slide. I'm going to insert an image just so we can see that this slide and what it looks like once I record it. Let's go to stock images. Let's type in coffee because I feel like I might need some coffee after this long tutorial. Let's go ahead and choose this item here. Click insert. Of course, it'll probably give me some ideas. I'm going to just choose that one. Close the design ideas out. I can format it if I want, but what we want to do is go to slideshow, record slideshow, and now I can record. I'm going to make sure again that I get rid of this. I can even turn off my camera. Only have my voiceover. In settings, there's a lot of options to choose what microphone you want and so forth, so make sure that's all set up correctly, and then just press record. This is Craig. After this long tutorial, definitely need some coffee. Again, I'm going to click stop rather than clicking the move forward or space bar because I don't want to record over the next item. Like if I am recording and then I hit space bar, as soon as it hits this one, it'll delete previous recorded audio. So just be aware of that. Okay, so I'm going to escape out of that, and here we are on this slide, and you will see now the recording is at the bottom. If I zoom in here, you can see the little icon. What I can do is drag it off so that it's not on there and just make it a little bigger so it's easier to work with. And now I can make sure a couple of things. One, we want it to play in background, or we want to change the volume, or we want to trim it. So one thing we definitely want to do is to trim. I'm right-clicking that. Of course, I can do it in the playback options as well. If I come up here, I can go to trim audio, just like I do for the videos. But I can right click, I can add trim, and I can see that, you know, maybe there it's starting a little bit, you know, later. And I want to make sure that there's no sort of dead space in all of these. Unless for some reason I want some dead space, I've got some animations going on. So again, this is all specific to whatever your script is, whatever video you're creating. Click OK. Okay, so there's that. I want to make sure that the that we have it set up for automatic play. Start with previous, and could have done start after previous since it's the second slide. Either way, this should now play. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. That's all you need to know for adding voiceover. That's what I did. I just went through and I added voiceover on each one of these, trimming them to suit. And then finally, and this is probably key when you're creating these kinds of videos in PowerPoint is you really do want music that plays across the entire slide. Because if you don't, like sometimes you can hear these like little like glitches and things as it's transitioning slides, even when you record it into video. So what I like to do is find some kind of audio. Let's go, that's called, I relabeled it main audio, but I spelt it wrong. So let's double click that, change it to main audio. And then I have slide audio one and the video, so we have all of the elements there, but this is the main audio. Now, what I can do is go to playback. I'm gonna choose automatic, and I'm gonna choose to play across slides. I can adjust the audio. I can do fade in and fade outs. So there's so many things that you can do here. Now, I got this music from a guy named Ken McLeod. I purchased a bunch of his 
sounds and music, and I just use a lot of his stuff. Of course, there's a lot of free sites out there where you can get free, royalty-free audio and, and music. Choose whatever you want. You're going to do all of the same things you've already learned. For example, with the music track, I can just drag it onto here. Maybe resize it, and it's ready to go. And I'll just adjust it using all the playback options I just showed you. Once you have all of that, we can hit play slideshow. Dr. Craig Ingstrom here, and today's talent development word is behaviorism. According to the Association for Talent Development's Book of Knowledge, behaviorism is a learning theory focused on observable and measurable behavior. It is usually associated with psychologists via